Hey guys, back with another video. So today I went to the flea market and I found a bunch of junk wax. So I'm gonna open these up in front of you guys, see see what we get. I got some uh, football, I got some baseball, um, I got some basketball even, I got some uh, 93, 94, nice fat pack of FLIR. So let's see what we got. I started the video and for some reason it got cut off. So the first pack was a 92, uh, stadium club which we got this Nolan Ryan uh, members choice it's got a little bit of surface damage to it but it's still a nice card and then we're opening up the 92 Donruss um, and I'll flip through these pretty fast because I don't want to make a, a terribly long video here on a bunch of junk wax but uh one thing I know about junk wax is that you'll always pay too much no matter what and, uh, but you always have fun opening up junk wax. So junk wax is just, it is what it is. Sometimes you can find some pretty decent stuff in there. Craig Biggio, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. That's actually a pretty nice card. Um, that is his 92. That is his, this is obviously not his official Donruss um, rookie, but it is. I believe the second year card I don't have this card this card actually looks really nice too um, which is actually a pretty good hit and I'll leave down in the comments you know what this card if it's worth anything maybe a buck or two but it is a nice card and I will put it in a sleeve for now just because it is clean it is pretty well centered maybe just a little bit top to bottom but it's actually a pretty clean card uh, let me finish these off here. Benito Santiago, and there we go. All right, so the next ones to open up are the 90, these are the 95 SP. 95 SP, I don't know, I didn't really research, like, what's the rookies to get in these packs? Again, I know this one costs $2, that's probably too expensive, but... That's actually a pretty nice card right there. Little, little cutout of Nolan Ryan. So our second Nolan Ryan of the day. Nice little SP. We got a red border Jack McDowell. Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Ronnie, Ronnie Gant, and the last two cards. Den Nagel and Ray Langford. Nice looking cards though, you know. I like that card. I like that uh that Nolan Ryan a lot. So we've got two Nolan Ryans out of this um, so far. He is definitely my all-time favorite pitcher. Uh, right uh, right just right barely in front of Greg Maddox, uh, just because I'm a Cubs fan. And right off the bat here we got the checklist Wade Boggs. Um, Wade Boggs I, I lived in Florida for a long time near Plant City, and that's where he's from. Um, Plant High School graduate, Wade Boggs. He played for the Rays for a little bit when I lived down there. Pretty cool card. Probably not worth a whole heck of a lot, but a pretty cool card. Nonetheless, Lenny Dykstra. And to finish off these SPs, there we go. Then we're moving on. We got 95. We got Series 1 and Series 2 um, of the Donruss. 95, Series 1, Series 2. These cards always stick together. You have to love it. There's Dottie Baseball on the, the checklist there. I'm going to do a little, just a little tug on them. Just enough just to loosen them up. Man, these things are hard to read as well, and they're sticking together. Eric Anthony, Roberto Alomar. Last couple cards here in this one, Jeff King and Pat Kelly. Nothing too crazy in there. Again, I don't know what the hits are in some of these, so bear with me. You're probably watching this going, oh, you could get a, well, I don't know. 
all I know is in the nineties, I want to hit King Griffey junior cards. Um, not sure. It looks like there's a nice Greg Maddox coming up. Speaking of one of my favorite pitchers, I did a little peekaboo there. Sorry about that. But when these things stick together, Oral Hershiser, nice card. Nice little rookie there. Let's see what we got here. It's a numbered card. Greg Maddox, numbered card. Elite Series, Donruss, Refractor, 9190 out of 10,000. They definitely know how to, uh, back in the day, they know how to, I mean, out of 10,000, I guess they knew that they were printing so many cards. But this is actually a pretty nice card. It's got a little refractor to it. Um, it's Greg Maddox. It'll probably go in my little personal collection that I have. But, hey, you know what? And it's not going to want to fit in here. I'm going to take it off camera. There it is. So Greg Maddox, nice little refractor there. So, so far, not too bad. Again, I paid like $40 for all the cards we're going to look at today, which you're going to probably say, well, that was probably too much to pay. But it all depends on what you got. Um, because the last card here looks pretty nice. It's a Frank Thomas uh, 4. It's a nice little refractor to that as well. I'm not going to complain about either of those cards in this pack. Um, so the Frank Thomas and the... Uh, Frank Thomas and the Greg Maddox can't beat that for, I think these again were a dollar a piece. These were a dollar a piece. So not too bad for a buck. Then we're going to the Series 2, 95 Series 2 Donruss. I don't know what's in Series 1 and what's in Series 2. I don't know that much of a difference. Dennis Eckersley, Bo Jackson, that's a nice card, kind of put that off here, put him here on top of Nolan Ryan, anytime I get a Bo Jackson too, I'm always happy, I know that some of his later cards don't get as much money, but yeah, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth 50 cents, I don't know, there we go, and then the second pack of the Donruss Series 2, I, I started collecting back in the like the mid part of the 1980s and then gave up on the sport in the 90s. So I don't have a lot of these, um, this era of junk wax laying around. Speaking of Wade Boggs, that's a nice Wade Boggs. Put him in the keep pile. And so there's a lot of these cards that I've never seen before just because I was not collecting then. But now that I'm a little bit older... I decided to start collecting and opening up junk wax is actually kind of fun. So now we have the 96 SP upper deck. Starting out with a prospect. Oop, backwards. Barry Bonds. It's a nice card. These are actually pretty nice looking cards, really. Um, Ruben Sierra. Give these just a little tug. They are sticking together like crazy. Rafael Palmero. Doesn't look like he's pitching in that picture. Manny Ramirez. That would be Manny Ramirez's third year card. Andy Pettit. Third year card. Reggie Sanders. Always have nice little, nice little gloss to him. Chuck Knobloch. And then the rookie prospect, Jason Schmidt. I got another pack of those. Let's hit this up real fast. These are pretty good looking cards, really. Cecil Fielder. Paul Molitor. How long did Paul Molitor play? Holy cow. He had a long career. Another Rafael Palmero. Barry Larkin. A nice looking card. Always like having getting Barry Larkin's cards. This is also his. This is he's been around for a while since then. Since that card, when that card came out, Eddie Murray, another guy who played forever. Els Burks, and then a Marquis Albert Bell. Joey Albert Bell. It's actually a pretty nice looking card. 
Too bad it's probably not worth anything, but it'll go in that pile. And now we have the 96 Series 2. I don't know what um, series. They didn't have Series 1, but I don't know what series um, Jeter cards are in. And this, I'm going to take this off camera for one second. Oh, trying to knock down my stand. This is a really sloppy, sloppy mess here. Okay, yeah, I don't know what series Derek Jeter uh, rookie is in this set, but hey, maybe we'll find out. I mean, it's worth um, a little bit of money. The Jeter rookie card from this series or from this year, who's like a Seiko there. Um, I did say I had one and I sent it off for grading. And uh, hopefully, someday, maybe by the time baseball season starts, um, so it's been there for like six months. So maybe by the time baseball season starts, um, so it's a fielder again, Harold Baines. Uh, Manny Ramirez, you saw that one. Yeah, maybe we'll. I'll get that one back. That'd be nice. Um, all right. Brian Hunter and Scott Cooper. I got two packs of these. And I'm gonna take this off camera for one second to open them up because it is a hot mess to try to open these things up. Prospects. We've got a few prospects on there. Um, Garrett Long. Another prospects. I know there's a few really good ones like Vladimir Guerrero's in this. Um, I forget who else is in a on a prospect card for this. Frank Thomas here. Let's flip this over. Rafael Palmero again. Man, I wish he would have not done some of the things he did. I used to collect a lot of Rafael Palmeiro. I mean, he started out as a Cub, so love to, to collect his cards. It's got rolling on that rookie prospects. Then we got, it's a nice looking card. Nomo card. Put that one in the, the keep pile. And then the Frank Thomas Road Warriors. So those are some nice cards. So that is it for uh, baseball. I'm going to move on to um, football next. And football, I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with this lone pack of 96 trophy contenders. And then everything else is going to be 90, 1995. Um, but I've never seen this pack before in my life. So... Um, I don't know. Thought it thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, it was a dollar fifty. Again, junk wax. You pay more than than what you get ninety nine percent of the time. Bill Brooks, and you get things that stick together a lot. Quinn Early, Jake Reed. Those are Rod. Rod Woodson, that's actually a pretty nice car. Too bad the Steelers lost yesterday. I know there's only a few people in this world that are actually sad about that, um, and those are just Steelers fans. Everybody else is pretty content with that um, with that outcome. So here's a Series 2 Zenith edition, a pinnacle. But that was uh, that was the, probably the weirdest um start to a game I'd ever seen, you know, whether, um, these are actually very nice looking cards. I've never seen these cards before. These are actually really nice looking cards. And there we got a Hall of Famer, Joe Montana. That is a nice looking card. Mostly with the Chiefs. Yeah, and that's the whole thing with the Browns. They won, but now they got to go play the Chiefs. So that's going to be a thing. Barry Foster. Um, it's nice. These are just really nice looking cards. There were Horde and Ron Moore. Wish there was a little bit more in there besides the Joe Montana, but hey, I got another pack, so that's always good. These were $2 a pack. Don't know, again, I don't know what's in these packs. This person literally had probably maybe 
50 or 60 different packs to choose from. Um, these cards just happen to be the ones that caught my eye. Um, Randall Cunningham, that's a nice card. I'll go in that little PC. This is the rookie there. Herschel Walker, nice. And a nice little Jerry Rice Super Bowl San Francisco. That's a nice looking card, actually. You know, not, not terrible cards out of that pack, which I'm surprised. So this is Top Stadium Club. This is also 95. This is the Super Premium Jumbo. I'll take it off camera for a second. I do this so I don't embarrass myself or knock down my stand that's holding my, my phone. Yeah, I'm impressed with those, um, those pinnacle cards, just the look of them. Um, whether they're worth anything, probably not. Here's the 95 Stadium Club. Hopefully not all these stick together. Again, I don't know what rookies are in here. But there is a Dan Marino. That's always a nice card. I picked up a Dan Marino on my eBay listing. I picked up a Dan Marino jersey the other day. Um, one of his like college throwback jerseys, um, which is pretty cool. But I got it for a good price, and it's on my eBay store. If anybody's a big Dan Marino fan and wants some of his cool older stuff, There we go. Flip this over. I hate it when they start going all different ways. Daryl Williams, there's Jim Harbaugh. And this is Mark Carrier. That's actually a pretty nice looking card. Corey Mayfield. Brian DeMarco. Robert Young. Come on, stop sticking together. Ken Norton. Hoping to get one more Hall of Famer in here somewhere. Here we go. I asked for it. On cue, Barry Sanders. 95. That's a nice looking card. Stop, top Stadium Club. I don't think I'll get any more Hall of Famers though. Because I asked for the one. Um, so. There we go. I asked for it. I got it. And that's that's enough for me. Now I got... Six packs of these contenders. Try to open these up and go through these as fast as possible. But I always know that these are good looking cards. And right off the bat, you got Michael Irvin. So ask for a Hall of Famer, another Hall of Famer. Oh, come on. These things are sticking together like crazy. No. Oh, man. Look at that. And it's on a Barry Sanders, too. Ah. I hate this. Tim Brown. He's on the Buccaneers for a little bit. Last couple cards here. We got Neil O'Donnell and Eric Zeller. So hopefully not all these are stuck together like this. I'll try to give them a little... A little bit of love in the pack there, so they maybe separate a little bit easier. So I, I hate getting a good card and then it being ruined because it's because it's stuck together. All right, there we go. We got another Dan Marino, Boomer Esiason. and I never knew he played for the Jets. Learn something new every day. Junior say how met him one time a long time ago. Really, really nice, really, really nice guy. Um, tragic ending to his life. Hopefully, they make more, more and more strides um, for CTE. All right, come on, come on. If anybody has any tips or tricks on how to get these cards to separate you know it's kind of like you, you want them to separate other Isaac Bruce you don't want to ruin them but you got to get through them Chris Sanders is a playoff rookie there and the last card
All right, this one doesn't feel as, as bad. Maybe it's not going to be as bad. So yeah, if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to get cards apart without ruining them, uh, ruining them, these older packs that have been sitting around for the last 25 years uh, with nobody messing with them, not maybe not temperature controlled. The last card. Maybe not temperature controlled and they just stick together. It is what it is, I guess. And these packs were a dollar fifty a piece, but you never know. You get one one good rookie out of this or one good Hall of Famer. Come on. Herschel Walker. Dion Sanders. Put him in the keep pile. James Stewart and Another Neil O'Donnell. We're down to the last pack of these. I can just feel how crunchy they are. Everybody's probably like, I gotta be careful with the cards, but you know what? At this point in time, I gotta do something, right? Because it might be the one pack that has something really, really, really good in it. So far, not. Marshall Falk. Cards are just tore up. And JJ Stokes, the last card. All right, now we're through the football. Now we're to the basketball. I got two packs of these 9394 um, 93 94 basketball Fleer. Give them a little, give them a little tug there. Just looking for, obviously looking for Jordan, um, but anybody, Kimbe Mutombo, anybody that you can get in here that is James Worthy, Hall of Famers, that's always a good thing. They're actually not terrible looking cards. Not terrible meaning... That they're not ugly like some of the the especially the mid 90s late 90s Fleer Sean Kemp Supersonics last pack to open up so unless a miracle happens I probably didn't get my money back on it but you know what it's fun again when you're doing these kind of packs you're not it's look, you're looking to have fun. It doesn't really matter what card you get. If you get something good, if not, be fine with it. Um, but for the most part, it's just fun to open up. There's a nice Dennis Rodman. Open up old packs of cards and see what you get. Nick Anderson, Larry Johnson, league leader, and Muggsy Bogues. Muggsy Bogues is the last card that we're pulling. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what your experience is with junk wax, uh, you know, getting them to separate a little bit. Um, you know, that Jerry Rice card's not a bad look.